Hello everyone! Welcome back to DepEd TV! I am Ms. DJ, your study buddy in math, and with a joyful heart and an empowered mind and spirit, learn along with me and let's be math Galing! So now, bring out your pen and your self-learning module as we once again demystify sets, this time as application of another art, that is, the art of solving word problems. One of the reasons math problems can be quite hard is because we get confused with so many given information that they all mixed up in our heads. Eventually, we get frustrated because it seems like we're going into circles. Speaking of circles, we will definitely find it convenient to use Venn diagrams in solving problems. Also, the prior knowledge we have about set operations like union and intersection will come in handy when we discuss problem solving. This is the first of two episodes about solving word problems involving sets using Venn diagrams. Before we start, let us test your mastery on the operations of union and intersection of sets. You may draw a Venn diagram to help you find the answer. For the first two items, let set A consist of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, while set B consists of 2, 4, 5, and 6. Which of the following is the set describing A, union B? A, the set which consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. B, the set which consists of 2, 4, 5, and 6. Or C, the set which consists of 2, 4, and 6. Or D, the set which consists of 1, 3, and 5. As our practice in the past, you have 3 seconds to answer each question. So, let's call our friend, Timer! The correct answer is letter A. The set which consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Since the question is the union of these sets, we list as its elements those that belong to A or to B. Second question. Which of the following is the set describing A, intersection B? A. The set which consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. B. The set which consists of 2, 4, 5, and 6. Or C. The set which consists of 2, 4, and 6. Or is it D. The set which consists of 1, 3, and 5. Timer! The correct answer is letter B. The set which consists of 2, 4, 5, and 6. Next, given the Venn diagram, find set M union set S. A. The set whose elements are 5, 10, and 15. B. The set whose elements are 10 and 15. Or C. The set whose elements are 5 and 10. D. The set whose element is 15. Timer! The correct answer is letter A. You can easily pick from the diagrammatic way the relation between set M and set S that 5, 10, and 15 are the elements that belong to their union. Fourth question. In the Venn diagram, which of the following is represented by the shaded region? Is it A, union of sets X and Y? B, intersection of sets X and Y? Or is it C, 
the complement of x or d all of the above timer so what is your answer right the correct answer is letter b the shaded region is the area where these circles overlap this is called the intersection of the two sets x and y for our fifth question which of the following diagrams illustrate the intersection of sets a and b union with the intersection of sets a and c union with the intersection of sets b and c minus the intersection of all three sets a b and c timer Quite tough question, right? So, what do you think is the answer to this challenging problem? Well, the correct answer is letter B. The diagram we need is the one which shows the relative complement of the union of any of these two sets and the set where they all intersected. In solving set operations and problems involving them, we still apply the usual steps in any task related to problem solving. Just that now, we have a specific procedure to show how all this information provided in the problem interrelate. In this problem solving technique, our main task consists primarily of entering elements or the cardinal number for the set containing such elements into a circle or circles. To show you the steps that we shall follow, Here's our friendly Venn diagram, Ben. Hi, Teacher DJ. Hi, kids. Today, I will share all the steps you need to solve problems involving set operations using a Venn diagram like me. Step 1. Determine what is given and what is being asked. Step 2. Illustrate using the Venn diagram. Step 3. Determine what set operations to be used. Step 4. Use the operations identified in the previous step. And last step. Answer what is being asked. Thank you for that, Ben. Now, here's an example. Sets A and B are two finite sets such that the cardinality of set A is 20 and that of set B is 28. Given that the number of elements in A union B is 36, find the cardinality of set A intersection B. What is the first step? Determine what is given and what are being asked. As specified in the problem, the following are known values. First, N of A which is equal to 20. Second, we also know that n of b is 28. And that, lastly, n of a union b is equal to 36. The problem asks for you to find the cardinality of a intersection v. This is where we do the second step. Illustrate using the Venn diagram. Once you've already drawn the correct Venn diagram, we proceed to the third step. The third step is determine what operations to be used. If two sets, A and B, are not disjoint, then the formula for N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. Next thing we're going to do is to plug in the values we have identified in the first step in the equation above. Thus, we substitute 36 for n of a union b and equate it to the sum of the cardinality of sets a and b, then just bring down the subtrahend n of a intersection b, since it is what we are trying to solve in this problem. We need to find what number must be subtracted to 48 to get a difference of 36. This is the same as equating n of a intersection b to the difference of 48 and 36. Subtracting 36 from 48, we get the answer for N of A intersection B, which is 12. 
After this, we can go to the first step. And what is the fourth step, Ben? Use the operations identified. Yes, you may check if it is the answer by going back to the Venn diagram in step 2. To get the cardinality of the set which refers to A only, we need to find the difference of N of A and N of A intersection B. So, N of A minus B is equal to 20 minus 12. Therefore, N of A minus B is equal to A. Similarly, we can get the cardinality of the set which refers to B only. That is by subtracting this time N of B and the intersection of A and B. This will give us 28 minus 12. And 28 minus 12 is equal to 16. Therefore, N of B minus A is equal to 16. Now, we can already do the final step, which is... Answer the questions being asked. In the Venn diagram, the area in question is the region where circles for set A and set B overlap. Our final answer is therefore, the cardinality of the set representing A intersection B is equal to 12. Let us now have another example. A group of high school students were asked whether they use either of the two social media networking sites, FB or Twitter, or they used both. Out of the students, 15 used Facebook and 12 used Twitter. Questions. How many students used Facebook only? How many students used Twitter only? And how many use both of these social media networking sites? Our second problem is of the same type with our example earlier. So, like how we began in our first example, we will list the given information and what is being asked. The total number of students surveyed is 25. N of F is equal to 15 where F stands for the set of students who used Facebook. N of T is equal to 12 where T stands for the set of students who used Twitter. The next thing to do is to show the relations of set F and T with the aid of a Venn diagram. Since we let F stand for set of students who use Facebook, while T stands for set of students who use Twitter, we have come up with this illustration. Here, we know that the union of sets A and B is 25. Since it is assumed in the problem that every student surveyed uses at least one of these two social media sites. To obtain N of F only and N of T only, we need to find first the intersection of sets F and T. We used the same formula earlier, and that is N of F union T is equal to N of F plus N of T minus N of F intersection T. So, the answer to N of F intersection T is simply 27 minus 25. To obtain F only, we refer again to the Venn diagram. We know that there are 15 Facebook users in this class. So, how many are Facebook users only? Written as F minus T, this is the set of elements in F that are not in set T. And the answer is 13. To answer the second question, similarly, we just identify the number of elements in T that are not included in F. Thus, we just subtract 2 from 12 since there are two students who had used both sites and are also elements of F. Now, with each subset in the Venn diagram accounted for, we can now enter the cardinal number for each identified region in the two circles of our Venn diagram. So the answers would be, the number of Facebook users only is 13. And the number of Twitter's users only is 10. While for the last question, how many of them are both Facebook and Twitter users? The answer is 2. Among the 70 residents in Barangay General P. Santos, 
53 like eating in restaurant A, while 42 like eating in restaurant B. How many like eating both in restaurant A and restaurant B? In restaurant A only. In restaurant B only. Timer! Let you complete up to step 3, but first, let me help you by giving you a hint. Refer to this diagram which somehow sums up the situation described in our problem. Let's say A represents the set of people from Barangay General P. Santos who likes to eat in restaurant A, while set B represents the set of people from the same barangay who likes to eat in restaurant B. So, for the first question, which is how many like eating in both restaurant A and restaurant B. What is your answer? Correct! The answer is 25. This means that 25 of the 70 residents in Barangay General P. Santos like eating in both restaurant A and restaurant B. Perfect! 28 of the 70 residents in Barangay General P. Santos like eating in restaurant A only, while 17 out of 70 like eating in restaurant B only. Again, let us call on Ben to see how our Venn diagram should look like. Kids, your Venn diagram should look like me. Looking closely, we can check that all 70 residents were all accounted for. This is shown through all the indicated cardinality of all the subsets in our diagram. Those numbers should give us a sum of 70. You've done a great job! Having learned all this should give you a sense of significant achievement. After all, mathematics is not an incomprehensible domain. Once you learn its language, you would be able to navigate it with ease and certainty. I am delighted to be with you today. I hope I made learning sets and Venn diagram a joy and not a reason for you to get distressed. Because truly, when we find joy in learning, only then we become math -galing. Again, this is Miss DJ. I wish you all a blessed day and I hope to see you tomorrow. Kita kids!